when the Duke and Duchess of Sussex announced they would be giving up their senior royal roles to become financially independent, it sent shockwaves through the British establishment and became the topic of intense debate across the country as we are doing it. How will they survive? And what do the rest of the family think about it? So much has happened in the week since that such questions are no longer top of mind. As the couple said in a statement on Monday, ahead of their official transition to being non-working members of the royal family, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will prefer that in the immediate weeks and months, the focus remains on the global response to COVID-19. As Sussex's spokesperson said, however, we recognize there are outstanding questions relating to their future beyond their household transition deadline. That future includes no longer using the name Sussex Royal for their non-profit organization, website, or Instagram account as March 31st marks the end of their time as senior royals and the start of their new life as the couple officially relinquishes their royal duties. Here's what we can expect to see from their transition. We have seen the wider family put up a united front following what royal sources initially described as disappointment and upset at the Sussex's original bombshell statement in January of this year. Queen Elizabeth drew the line on Harry retaining any royal appointments, most notably his cherished honorary military title. The hybrid royal role he had initially carved out for himself clearly wasn't workable for anyone else, nor was the intention to continue using the brand in his marketing. As a result, Harry and Meghan will no longer use the title Fifth and Her Royal Highness and will no longer represent the Queen. This doesn't change Harry's place in the line of succession, and it doesn't mean the couple will no longer move in royal circles. On March 9, as part of their final royal duties, the Sussexes joined everyone from the Queen to Countess of Wessex at Westminster Bay for a common 12th day service. There was much written about the lack of interaction between the Sussexes and Prince William and Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, but the bigger message was that when Harry and Meghan may be leaving the firm, they remain part of the family.